All right, boys and girls, we are looking at page 19 and page 20 um, for your literacy. We're going to start with number one. And what would that be? That would be a rug. All right. We're listening for the er sound. So would rug have er? Yes, it would. So they already gave you a lowercase, so you can trace that. And then your capital, you're going to make it kind of like a P, but then you give it a leg. So it looks like that. All right. What is our next picture? What's that picture over there? That's a picture of a ring. So does a ring start with er? Yes, it does. So very neatly, capital R is going to be upstairs and downstairs. Lowercase r is just in the downstairs. You want to take your time and do a very amazing job. Because not only are we learning letters, but we're learning how to write them. Okay, number two, what is this picture? That is a picture of a what? Yes, a rope. So once again, make your capital R and your lowercase r. And this might be a little tricky over here. What does that look like? That is a rock. All right, so capital R, upstairs and downstairs. And a lowercase stays in the downstairs. We've been doing some lowercase letters that use the upstairs but not this week. This week we're staying in the downstairs. All right, what do we have on number three? What is that? A rocket. Does rocket start with R? Yes, it does. And I bet it has that kind of sound when it takes off. Capital R, lowercase r. And one more. Break. Same thing. Capital R. And lowercase r. Do you see how Miss Dillon's really taking her time? writing those letters, even though I've written letters for a long, 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 long time. And even though you can't see the lines on my paper, you can see them on your paper. And I'm actually using the lines on my paper to make sure they look amazing. All right, if you need to pause the video to get caught up on this page, go ahead and do so. I'm gonna be right back after I flip my paper over to do the other side. So you finish up and flip your paper over. Okay, on this side we have three words that we're gonna be writing. So we're not just writing letters anymore. We have been writing words, haven't we? Okay, let's look at our words at the top of our box. If you can't see mine, go ahead and look at your own because I know it's a little hard to see up here. Our first word, let's stretch it together. R -ip. Say it together. R -ip. Let's try our next one. Duh. Add, dad, and last one, er, add, 
rad. Good. All right, so let's look at number one. Let's stretch it again. Rip, rip. Okay, so we're gonna write the word rip. We can just trace theirs, but take your time so it looks like it's right on top of theirs. And then they have a piece of paper that is ripped. Sometimes we do art projects and we rip the paper on purpose and make little pieces. We did that with trees and we did it with Valentine hearts. All right, let's look at the next one, number two. Let's stretch this word, you ready? D, ad, dad. Does this look like a dad? Yeah, could be, right? All right, so very carefully. Now, D's, you need the downstairs and the upstairs, even though it's a lowercase letter. So D, A, you make them almost the same, except the A doesn't have a long, tall stick. D, A, D. Okay, and our last one, let's stretch this word. R-A-D, rad, very good. I fishing, rad, go ahead and write in that word. R-A-D. All right, boys and girls, thank you for doing reading with me today. I will see you again in a few minutes for writing. Take care. Bye-bye.